don't know, like it or not. So you grew up in Enugu? I grew up in Enugu. I'm from Onitsha. Great. Where did you first learn about sex? What's the time? Um, first time that I saw sex, I saw, saw oh, wow. sexual activity. So you saw sex? So, I had. so you learned? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but one of my <clears throat> uh, female cousins wow. was very sexual. So I'll just leave that one there. But <laughs> first time I saw sex was porn in my brother's, was my brother's porn. Um, and it was our house help that actually called my attention to it. Like, hey, come on, see this thing. Like, what the f Hey, what guys. So, Nollywood actor Ray Emodi has made shocking revelations about himself. Like, I'm still very much in shock, guys. I never expected him to come out publicly with an information as disgusting as this. You better get a seat, oh, because this particular gist is too real for me to share in a hurry. Meanwhile, you are highly welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. If you're new here, you're very, very welcome. Please, I beg you, kindly subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for latest gist and trending news. As we continue to serve you with the latest, all right? So, in a podcast interview with One Blessing Amaka, our very own superstar Nollywood actor Ray Imodi, who is a musician and also a rapper, made so many shocking revelations about himself, especially his sexual life. The handsome actor who claimed he is from Onisha, Anambra State, but grew up in Enugu, both in South eastern part of nigeria in the interview stated that he saw adults making out for the first time at a very young age after his house help called his attention to something playing on his elder brother's tv and then days later while he was sitting at his couch watching some fashion stuff on tv around 12 a.m in the midnight he suddenly noticed that his pim pim could stand hmm, wahala meaning after doing that he couldn't control himself no more and ended up um, as the, mm -mm, seven times at a stretch till nothing comes out when he helps himself for that as in according to him he's man the man in him became painful because he masturbated so much that no water was coming out anymore hmm. he even went further to reveal how he had a kind of three distinct with some random girls and how he enjoy his women or more the guy said so many things that my mouth could not say before i enter into trouble just calm down and enjoy these videos guys just calm down and watch this video for yourself guys because if i start saying all the things he said in this podcast it will be as though i'm exaggerating stuff so just calm down and enjoy this video guys and please don't forget to let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below stay beautiful and have a nice day thank you no because i jacked off a lot uh, before like because i found out about jacking off like accidentally down there uh, oh god like i was scared when the white ship stuff was coming out I was like, what is this are you is serious? this gonorrhea oh <laughs> are like, you serious yeah i had to google that shit like, oh semen sperm whatever Did you, you get didn't me? ask your brothers or you didn't nah no we didn't we weren't that like so me? what was the process? Talk us through the first time you masturbated. Jack off, masturbated. Yo, I was watching fashion TV in Enugu. Uh, <laughs> FTV at midnight shows like really risque stuff. <laughs> so that was my go-to. Because like DSTV raised me. That's why, Aww. yeah, I told you. That's how I got the accent. Yeah. Do you get me? So I was watching fashion TV. I know the time. Once it's 12, once it's midnight. They start doing, I think they have a Lossy. name for the segments. Do you get me? They show a lot of bikini, a lot of... Okay, so way. I got hard. I was like just touching my hard and boom. I was like, whoa, what did is this? Did anybody teach you how to touch Nobody, your heart? Like no. how did you know? Was you, was you following the feeling? I was following the feeling. I didn't know like to go up and down or to go any direction with the jacking off or masturbation. You know, it's a very <laughs> educative uh, conversation we're having right here. So I did not know if I had to stroke up. Don't no. talk like that. I shouldn't talk like a it's National suggest, Geography. No, okay. that's not National Geography. That's seducing. <laughs> oh, me. shit. Uh -uh. You know, I, got, I got a sexy voice. You know, the stroke. Yeah, the stroke, yeah, the stroke. Come the stroke, on, my um, friends. <laughs> the stroke was improvised because okay. I, I never did it before. And then you ejaculated. I ejaculated. But the crazy thing is that, that I think 
close to that point that I jacked off for the first time, a friend of mine in school told me that he jacked off. Do you get me? Before you were selling everybody. <laughs> it, was selling, it was like a big deal. Right? Woo! Jess or some shit. Do you get me? So he was happy, like, yo, going around telling everybody. I was like, what are you doing? So when mine happened accidentally, I couldn't stop. Like the next day, because it was midnight, the next day, I probably jacked off like seven times. What? Yeah, it got to the point nothing was coming out and it was hurting. Because no, I was like, yo. So like, what was you using to stimulate yourself? Seven times, right? Seven, yeah, because there are some magazines and stuff. Or yeah, you had like, a break in between. You had lunch, went, played football, came back. <laughs> like, to, talk us through the process, <laughs> bro. Yo, I was in the room for all seven attempts. Do you get me? Man on the mission. Yeah, but like, obviously, when I'm done busting, you know, I'll be like, this is so ridiculous. What am I doing? Oh, my God. Go wash your hands, you motherfucker. I wash my hands. This is ridiculous. Oh, pull up your pants, boy. <laughs> I pull up my but pants. Soon... And I look at that magazine. I had a Playboy magazine, uh -huh. which I actually took to school and they never came back. Oh, wow. Yeah. When I... Have you ever jacked off in a group? No. Have you in... ever had a threesome? Yeah. Wow. How many? How many times? Yeah. Once, actually. Once? Yeah. If you not had it again? Shout out to you too. I can't remember your name. <laughs> It was it wasn't planned. Uh, honestly, I got back. I was staying in the hotel because I was shooting in the place I was at. It wasn't Lagos. Oh my god! At this point, I think Ray is saying too much. Like he's exposing too much. Honestly. Went downstairs just to have a drink and mm. smoke and just look around. Mm. So I was looking around and I saw something I liked. Not something. Excuse me. <laughs> Women are godly beings oh, man. I for all the female feminists out there women are godly beings and you are not a thing we appreciate if that. you were a thing you would be the most special thing oh, wow. but you are beings special beings okay. so i was looking for something i like uh no i'm kidding you, so i was looking for <laughs> you're so special being i saw this girl that had a really nice body and my own is not just having because i have a song i was talking about nengi avanda and uh, sometimes talking about Jim bbl Montana. Yeah, mm -hmm. do you get me? So people think I like BBL over natural. I don't have any preference. I just, whatever attracts me, attracts me. Have you had, um, God, I'm jumping with so many questions. Sure. Answer the first one. Okay, hey, so I saw this girl. She didn't have the <laughs> biggest butt or the biggest boobies, but she had curves. And that curves drive me crazy. Wow. Yeah, so um, what I, does it do to you? I literally just look at her. And this, this is not cap. I looked at her and her group. She was grinding on this other girl that was sitting down that looked way drunk and tired and didn't want to be there. Mm. Or how I wanted to be there. So mm. she was probably grinding on her friend to make her mm -hmm. let's Ginger. all go now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you get me? Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. I took my drink. I walked back because they are sitting close to the door. I'm walking past the door. I'm, staring, I'm looking at them. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. Made it obvious. I eye, eye contact. Yeah, all that shit. Then I walked out for a cigarette. And the skinny one that had the curves came out. Mm -hmm. I said she was a fan and uh, took some pictures. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, okay. She was like, are you staying here? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm staying here. <laughs> so she came upstairs um, and we got into it. We had a, a, an intimate interaction. Right. Just her and I. Mm -hmm. Her friend that felt like looked like she didn't want to be there downstairs was calling her, blowing up her phone, blowing up right. her phone. So she's like, "Okay, come upstairs." She's like, "No, I'm not coming upstairs. Just come upstairs, okay? I'm not leaving now." Wow. So she's coming upstairs. I'm like, "Wait, so this one you're trying to convince this girl, you had to convince her to come upstairs. I don't want anybody to come here and start doing <laughs> killing, killing the vibe." The vibe. That's me? so annoying. And with threesomes, when you don't get the combination right, the third party can really just. Ugh. And the most important thing for that, uh, for the threesome, for all my guys out there, <laughs> make sure that none of the girls are like jealous kind, kind types. Do you get me? Because like one will see that you're giving the other one more attention. I can see that happening. That's not what happened. But she will probably get jealous and start acting weird and off and kill the mood, right? But the girl, because the reason I say this is because the girl she invited up ended up being like more... Freaky than yeah, the other one. Yeah, so I gave her a lot more attention. Right. Like I wouldn't even cap. I think I gave her like 80% attention. Gosh, is that because she 
almost looked like she wasn't interested. Yeah, and I think some of that, and I think because, like, yo, her butt was bigger too. Wow. But also, not just that, not just about okay. big butts or small butts, okay. okay. but, like, her energy was more like, mm. don't even talk. Mm. That was a girl once on some She's talking shit. She did confidence. Yeah, she knew what she wanted. She wanted, yeah. like, do you get me? She yeah. was just straight to the point. Yeah. The other one was a bit more, girl, like, ladylike. Well, there was that one that came up first. That one, like, the, came, the one that came so, up first was ladylike. The one that yeah. came up second was on What song. was the first position y'all did? Yo, no, I'm a normal guy, so the first one. What's a no? How can you say you're a normal guy and you're having a threesome? Hey, normal people have threesomes. Uh, uh, if I had a manager, this one, he'd be like, don't say too much. Don't say too much. <laughs> Feel the stuck under the rug, all my problems that I shove. I got nightmares in my head, I fear 